My name is Leonardo Zaccarelli. I am the technical responsible officer for Fusion for Energy. Ferrovial is in charge of the positioning of the assembly, testing and commissioning of four high voltage transformers for the steady state electrical network. The design of this transformer started in 2009 with a close collaboration with, within all the parties involved, like either organization, like the United States Domestic Agency, and of course, Fusion for Energy. And today we are reaching a very important milestone, that is the positioning of the transformer in their final location. Ferrovial is in charge of the design and construction of three big buildings, but also is in charge of the construction of the oriental pits, that are underground concrete structures of uh, a surface of uh, 100 square meters and a capacity of uh, 70 cubic meters. These pits uh, are designed to collect uh, any possible uh, oil leakage from the transformer and therefore uh, are designed to prevent uh, pollution to the environment. My name is Gilles Consolo. I am working for our ITER organization in the electrical engineering divisions. ITER substation will be connected to the 400 kV network that is fed by the operator grid, National French Operator Grid, RTE. This substation is separated in two parts. There is one is SSEN network and the second PPEN network. SSEN network will be fed by four transformers, 75 MVA each, and PPEN substation will be fed by three big transformers, 300 MVA each. Today is a very important point because we receive three transformers for SSEN network at the same time, and we are installing two of them on their respective pits. My name is David Aspiazu. I'm the project director for the electrical power distribution project. Ferrovial is primarily in charge of the design and construction of the building 36. It's the main building that distributes all the alternate current. Also, we have been awarded with the cable trace systems. This system maintains and supports the cables and their various functions, levels and voltage. It was very, very difficult to make uh, all the drawings and to make everyone agree and to have the good installation process. And now we success thanks to this very, very good cooperation between USDA, A4E and IO.